Time and again, in the early days of independence, popular African leaders were assassinated or deposed in coups led by ex-French foreign legionnaire. Togo in 1963, the Central African Republic in 1966, Burkina Faso also in 66, Mali in 1968. In 50 years of independence, there have been 16 coups in former French colonies, more than in all the other countries of Africa combined. All that violence kept in power governments that were in line with France's political interests and friendly to its oil and mining industry. The system of interlocking military, political, and economic influence is known as France Afrique. Even today, many former colonies continue to struggle to free themselves from it. France holds the national reserves of 14 African countries in its central bank. It has a web of military bases across West Africa and paralleled by any other foreign power. And it exercises deep political and commercial influence on the continent. This has to change and this has to, to, to be ended. So at some point, we have to renegotiate the terms of France Africa. You think uh, this is going to be transformed anytime soon? Um, five, six years ago, you had some very strong anti-French rhetoric coming out of Francophone Africa. What's happened? Um, the actors who are speaking against France have been replaced. Like who? Like where? Well, for example, Ivory Coast, and where else? France militarily intervened to impose a pro-French ruler. Or in Mali, where Francois Hollande militarily intervened, suppressing a popular indigenous movement in the north to impose a southern leader through what you could barely call real elections. And that southern leader now, Ibe Kai, is a servant of France in Niger, where uh, Mohamedou Isofou, uh, who is a former employee of the French uranium country, Arriva, is now the president of Niger and recently signed a 40-year concession, giving away Niger's only non-renewable natural resource, uranium. This is an exhausting list. Is he being harsh? Yes, I think so. Quite a bit. Uh, I was not supposed to be uh, to be the French lady on stage, you know, but I, no, I please, please. to. Uh, Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to have to <laughs> be the French lady on stage. That would be dreadful. Yeah. Uh, I discussed with an American uh, diplomat, say, okay, French-speaking countries, your history, your stuff. Tirez les Anglais, tirez les premiers, messieurs les Anglais, quoi. Enfin, messieurs les Français, en l'occurrence. How do you translate them into English? Shoot first. Uh, dear French people. <laughs> a, a text that is written by President Hollande and President Obama, published in the Washington Post, about the deep, important, strategic relationship between the United States and France, especially in Africa. Mm. What is this relationship that suddenly has become so important, and why is it there? Well, each of these partners has something to offer in this region that's being called Afrikanistan. The United States, what does it have to offer? It has money, it has military hardware, things like drones, satellite information. It has high-tech capacity. What does France have to offer? Boots on the ground and intelligence. The one thing the United States can't get in French-speaking Africa, because it simply doesn't have the language. The businesses are competing for their strategic resources, but the governments are collaborating in the war on terror. But are they now finding that the bigger threat is not amongst themselves, but China? Economically speaking. Economically speaking, uh, everybody um, acknowledge the power of China, saying, OK, we can compete. They're just there. And uh, no, we have to uh, we have to reorganize to find um, to find new ways to to make uh, business, uh, new ways to make diplomacy, so that we can we can keep uh, some influence. And France Afrique helps in this sense. We speak a lot uh, about the the military intervention, but we don't speak about uh, Franco Forty, for for instance. Ten years from now, the biggest French-speaking city uh, in the world will be Kinshasa. So it's something very, very, very important. Uh, the cultural entrenchment in Africa is an asset for Paris. Yes, and uh, we, we aim to use it uh, strategically. And so in that sense, France and the U.S. are getting involved to perhaps 
confront or contrast with the Chinese involvement? Just to keep uh, their share. Uh, so this is it. It's dividing the pie. We are uh, all uh, doing the same things, same mistakes we were doing during the colonization. Dividing areas of influences within Africa. Yeah, that, that's the, the risk we are, uh, that, that is at, say, yes. at stake.